Premier, I think the surprising controversy of the year was the revelations about your relationship with former Liberal MP Daryl Maguire, even after he left Parliament under a corruption cloud. Now, we'll wait and see what ICAC says about all that. But do you believe you owe the people of New South Wales an apology either for keeping that relationship secret or continuing it up until uh, even beyond the point that he left Parliament under that cloud? Well, Chris, um, I've uh, expressed my, my feedback on that issue in a very open, direct and transparent way and I don't think anybody can deny that. I've been very direct with the people of New South Wales and I just want to use this opportunity to thank the community for their support. I've been overwhelmed by it. It, it has been a difficult time, but uh, what I will never, ever do is distract myself from the job that I've been elected to do. That's what inspires me every day of the week. And I hope the people of New South Wales feel they've been well served by their government because nothing is more important to me than looking after the welfare of our 8 million citizens. I will never, ever lose focus of that. Uh, and that's what I intend to continue to do. I understand that. But do you think you owe the voters a, an apology for uh, not being as forthcoming about all of that as perhaps you might have been? Well, I, th well, I think at the end of the day, um, people appreciate... Um, people appreciate the circumstances I was in. They appreciate my directness and my openness and my honesty about the situation and also um, the fact about how committed I am to my job. And I've been overwhelmed as I visited the length and breadth of the state by the feedback I've received from people on that issue. And, uh, and I think people appreciate first and foremost that I'm here to serve them, the community. And people also distinguish between private life and, and what happens in your public life. And I so want to, to thank be, people for their understanding. So to be clear, you have nothing to apologise for? Well, I've been very honest and direct and I've done nothing wrong and, and the people of New South Wales appreciate that. And I remain committed to keeping the, the, the public, the people that I'm elected to serve, my number one focus and priority. Uh, that gives me a great source of inspiration to be able to do that every day. And, uh, and I hope that people, our citizens, feel well served by my government's efforts, not just for the, during the pandemic, but also on a whole range of other issues. Gladys Berejiklian, thanks so much for joining us. I hope you have a terrific Christmas and a happy new year. Thank you, Chris. It's always good to chat. Thank you very much. Gladys Berejiklian there, the Premier of New South Wales. As I keep saying, she has hands down managed this pandemic better than any other Premier in this country. They all, all ought to look to how New South Wales has, yes, made mistakes, but learned from them and tried to keep the community functioning and the economy and the borders open.